Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstock Reviews. I'm here in a secret shooting range west of Phoenix with my friend Carlos. How, How you, you doing, doing, buddy? Carlos is, again, uh, for those who don't know him from previous videos, Carlos is a, a training, a firearms trainer for an undisclosed uh, law enforcement agency. And we're both Glock fans. Oh, yes. So today we have the Glock uh, 17 Gen 5 MOS that we used before with the Bushnell red dot sight on it. And the only difference, why, why are we doing this again? We already shot it at the range and explained what we've done with this uh, pistol. But what I did is I changed the sights on it. Originally had the factory Glock sights. They were just the standard um, Glock sights that, you know, night sights that come with a Gen 5 pistol. Mm -hmm. But one thing I sort of didn't like is with the red dot, I couldn't use the sights. They were there, but they were pretty much useless. So I went ahead and I ordered a set of True Glow uh, Tritium Pro's MOS sights. That means they are actually made higher for the MOS pistol and they're really narrow so they don't interrupt your uh, red dot. And because the, the sight on the MOS pistols sits farther, the original sight stuck out of the back of yes. just a wee bit. They look kind of funky. If you were shooting them, I mean, they work perfectly well, right? But I just, I took them out and because I am one of those cheap guys that never likes to waste <laughs> anything, I had this uh, LE trading pistol that I had before and I put the sights on it. What the heck, I already changed the sights on this thing like six times because I took the original night sights that were in there that pretty much were dead, and I put a different set of sights, shot it, liked it, but put another set of sight, changed it, liked it, and now it has the factory Glock night sights on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it here, because I don't wanna drop it on the ground, and I'm gonna shoot it a little more. Um, with the night sight, the cool thing about this is you can actually co-witness your sights just in case your red dot dies. Yes. But you know what? You know how many hours this thing life has? I mean, has a lifetime of 5,000 hours. 5,000? That's a couple of years, I think. Yeah. That's, that's, like, about as, uh, that's about as uh, much as a uh, Barney Dinosaur show lasts. Oh, oh God, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's look. Uh, no, 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 shut up. I have to, you know, I'm glad my grandson does, is not into Barney, okay? Because my daughter was. So that's a long story oh, about that. <laughs> I saw Barney live at America West <laughs> Arena back in the 90s, okay? So shut up. <laughs> so that's scary. Okay, so let's shoot it a little more and then I'll have Carlos shoot it. I'm gonna finish his mag. I'll have you shoot it and see how you, how you like the both co-witnessing and getting your sight picture and how fast is it now with both the red dot and the uh, iron sights. Oh yeah, this is good. What do you think, Carlos? Think it's a good shooter? I think it's, uh, I mean, that, that that little guy over there, I wouldn't worry about that little guy, but uh, I think it's dead on. Yeah, it's dead on. Uh, when And actually, when I got it back from, um, when I originally got this pistol and we sighted it in, we learned at gun sight to sight these uh, red dots at 15 yards. Hmm. Okay, so that's where it's shot for. It was pretty much from the factory. It's pretty dang close. Uh, windage is perfect. A little elevation to 15 yards. We want, I shot it, I sighted it again uh, in an indoor range from the bench at 15 yards. So I think it's, I think it's a good shooter. Now, buddy, your let's, chance, man. Let's give it a try. Yeah, let's try see. it, man. All right. All right, let's, let's see what she can do. Oh, that's, it's on. To go a little faster. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah, and beautiful. You, and, and we're both used to the Gen 5 trigger. That has an apex trigger on it, by the way. Very uh, that's the first thing I did is get an apex trigger, and I actually put an apex extractor on it. Oh, it's smooth, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it I has an apex extractor. The apex yeah. extractor is all machine from Barstock. 
and actually does not have the you know loaded chamber indicator which actually we were discussing this earlier our uh, loaded chamber indicator is a press check yep. just make sure that but just, then again rule number one yep. all guns are always loaded so doesn't really matter right so i think it's a really really good pistol it's i like a, it it's a it's a good combination that red dot is a really good red dot but like you said uh so far all the red dots that your agency has tested uh yeah unfortunately every uh red dot has uh has died so they're still testing and uh we're, we're, we're still waiting to hear uh the final word from uh the research and development guys uh the the gun gurus up there so we'll see let's see what happens well great guy carlos appreciate thank you it, man thank you for letting me shoot it hey let's go ahead and uh continue shooting it because it's a fun little pistol and then again we shoot it before we shot it before we just changed the sights on it yeah we might do some more changes on it later but right now it's a great little pistol so again guys thanks for watching be safe and have fun on the range Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.